Hey, today I want to cover hooking up a camera to a telescope and I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible and show some good footage. This is the Ryan Apex 127 millimeter Cassegrain telescope. Uh, if you look at like say on telescope.com it's a little bit on the pricier side for kind of a basic scope but you sure can do a lot with this one. And I use it as a spotting scope and for astronomy is what I like about it. On the underside, the rail mount here, as you notice, I got my Davis and Sanford tripod mount on the bottom, which you'll see a shot of that tripod when I had this all hooked up outside. The components we're going to be using are to hook up a Sony A7S full frame mirrorless camera to it. I've had a Nikon, like a D750 in the past. They hook up basically just the same, except you don't need an adapters with Nikon or, say, Panasonic or them. But Sony, the mirrorless cameras, you do need the adapter. Here's my A7S, and with the being a mirrorless camera, image sensor is real close to the front of the camera. In fact, I can't even find a T-ring adapter for an A7S to hook to say a telescope. So what you end up doing is you have to get a Nikon T-ring adapter and this is a Nikon G to the Sony mount adapter. And I'll try putting links down below for all the components that I have. And the only problem with that running a Sony to Nikon, if you got a Nikon you don't need that adapter. But this is the price on that thing. And you might be able to find it cheaper but it is needed if you got a Sony. To be honest with you, the reason why I switched over to Sony and got rid of my Nikon D750 is with the A7S, your amount of ability to pull in light is just unreal compared to the Nikons. This sensor on here, they call this the low light king and they call it, they don't call it the low light king for nothing. Uh, you can turn the ISO way up and it still looks clear. And coupled to a telescope, it is just unreal what you can capable of doing so the $79 investment that you need with this I'm telling you more than pays for itself oh there it is look at this that there is the Horsehead Nebula through this little Orion in a Sony A7S let's turn the ISO down 40,000 ISO only for just the moon, stuff like that, no big deal. So, with that said, scope comes like this. You're going to end up buying, which I'll show the link for that, your adapter to run, hook a DLS, DSLR to a telescope, such as this. You don't need this piece that's up top, but you will have this here piece. This component and that component. And like I said, I'll put the link down where to get it at. And what that does is, if you want to run, say, an eyepiece, like a 25 millimeter one and a half inch eyepiece that normally goes in to there through the scope, drop that in to that piece, lock it in, and this is going over the top of that, lock it in. Now, this whole thing here will screw right on the end of the scope. You know, like that. Then, you're going to get your T-ring adapter, and this one here is a Nikon G to, I'm sorry, this is a Nikon G mount adapter, and you would, if you have a Nikon, this is all you're going to need. But being as I got the Sony A7S, that's mounting onto the adapter from Sony to Nikon. That's going to lock in there. So we'll screw this T mount on the end there. Try to get it set up so it's straight up and down. I keep forgetting icons the other way. Like that. And there's your setup. That is running with a lens in it. 
I seem to have a lot better results for terrestrial viewing and astronomy running at Prime. And the hook to Prime up is basically the same, but we will be taking this whole piece off and unscrewing the key adapter. We're going to screw this right onto the scope and hook the Sony. Now our setup for Prime. Okay, so what we're going to do is get out get some beam shots of it and show you what you can expect out of it if you would want that kind of investment into it. Provide the links to it. So let's get outside and get rolling. All right, this is my setup I got. This is the Orion Apex 127 uh, millimeter scope and I have it hooked to a Davis and Sanford a Pro Vista 18 tripod and it's got the FM 18 fluid head. That's what I would recommend a uh, heavy duty uh, tripod. That's the prime setup and it works quite well. And I'm going to show you how well it works. Down there is a zoom in here fire number right there and we're going to focus on that. which is right there looking through this Orion, 127 millimeter. This is prime. I got crop mode on for the smaller sensor, so it's not full frame. But that's with the crop mode on, and that's what you can expect. Pretty decent. Now next up, we're going to take a 25 millimeter Orion lens and put it in this uh setup here all right that's with the 25 millimeter lens that's as good as you're going to get with that uh, pretty sure i got it focused about as good as i'm going to get and that's all we're going to try on that one the other one is there's a farm quite a ways away out there and we're going to focus in on that yard light when it gets dark it's right there i'm using a super zoom on the Sony RX-10, Mark IV, I think, Mark III. All right, here's Prime at uh, Crop Factor on. Same yard light. Actually, it's quite good. That's with the Crop Factor on. I'm only at 12,800 ISO. Sony camera, this A7, just works great with this scope. 700 meters. Let's switch out of crop mode. 700 meters out of crop mode. Now I'm going to crank the ISO way up. 256,000 ISO. 130 is shutter speed. Look at this. Pitch dark. That's a silo. 700 meters away. Got the ISO cranked on this Sony, actually. 25,600. Let's try going higher. That's 80,000 ISO. Over 700 meters, and you can see bugs flying. Look at that. Wicked. There's full color. 40,000 ISO. Just to show you how far away it is, I'm on cement. Watch me step. So much as touch, even walk, it vibrates the camera. Look at that. There's Jupiter. Look at that. Got my ISO at 800, 125th shutter speed. I'm going to try turning my ISO down and my shutter speed down. Here's with my ISO turned up. That's a moon of Jupiter right there. And there's two more moons. That's with the ISO cranked up. Turn the ISO down. Pretty nice. All right, I got a nine millimeter in there, and you can literally see that red spot on Jupiter. Look at that. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna try to go into uh, crop mode. All right, that right there is as good as you're gonna get with this scope with Jupiter. I'm tracking this with my Celstrad tripod now. But I'm running a 9mm with crop mode on. Pretty awesome. Again, that's Jupiter with a crop mode on at a 9mm lens. 
All right, I'm trying this straight out video mode, trying to find the Horsehead Nebula in Orion. I got everything cranked, quarter second shutter, ISO is up to 51,200. I think I can go higher on that. Let's go to 80,000, but look at that. I'm not seeing it though. Pretty sure I got it pointed in the right spot. Oh, there it is. Look at this. That there is the Horsehead Nebula through this little Orion in a Sony A7S. Let's turn the ISO down. 40,000 ISO only. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to try getting a picture of this. And there's the moon on Prime. Look at that. Crop mode on. There's picture profile mode 3 at its A7S and 150 shutter speed ISO 200. Pretty cool. 24P. I'm shooting.